friends, how are you? Well, when I say good morning, you guys are supposed to say good morning, Mrs. Eaton, or some of you are saying good morning, Aunt Terry, and some of you are saying good morning, Oma, aren't you? So, oh you, so let's try this again. Good morning, friends. And you say, good morning, Oma. Good morning, Oma. Or good morning, Mrs. Eaton. Okay, let's do our song. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made, I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. I'm so glad that everybody's here. So, Alfred, I, I know that Alfred and Allie, there's actually two Allies watching, um, Gwen and James and Jackson and Jackson, we have two Jacksons too, uh, Jonah, Harper, Kinsley, Levi, Lucas, Lukey, um, Macy, Maddie, Noah, Nora, Raylan, Sadie, Sophia, um, Georgia, Carly Mae, Gabe, and Judah. So we have a lot of people that are watching us. So if you can email me your name, I will make sure I know that you're there too. Um, and your parents can go down to the bottom of the video and there's a place for them to see what the uh, email address is. Okay. Now, how did, let's, before we do anything else, let's everybody get a hug. Ready? Wrap your arms around you and give you a squeeze. Oh. <coughs> Was, remember, put your, when you cough. I did. Into I your did. elbow. All right. So, um, we are going to do our pledges first. So, I need everybody to stand up. We're going to look at the uh, American flag. You know, you all had one that you colored, I think. So, let's um, put out your right hand. And salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Put out your right hand again and salute. We're going to do the Christian flag now. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands, one Savior, crucified, risen, and coming again, with life and liberty to all who believe. All right, why don't you pick up the um the Bible? All right, we're going to sit down. Yes, you can sit down. Okay. All right, so everybody up, put out your right hand and salute. I pledge allegiance to the Bible. God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light into my path. I will hide its words in my heart that I might not sin against God. All right, everybody sit down. And we're going to sing our song. Ready? The B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God. The B-I-B-L-E Bible. Okay, thank you, James. Thank you. Did you know the Bible is God's holy word? That's right. It is God's holy word. And every word is what? True. Every word is true. Not a single lie. No, not a single lie. You are right. All right. So we did our pledges. Hmm. Let's look at the count. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. All right. Let's look. Okay. Uh, Sadie, have I called on you yet? What month do you think it is, Sadie? Did you say March? I thought I heard you say March. So, let's look up here. It is March. Ready? Let's sing our song. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Great job. Great job, guys. Now, look at it. Where is it? It is on the line, right? So, that means... Our four seasons are autumn, winter, spring, and summer. The first is fall. Oh, we can call it fall, too. It's, we call it that because all everything falls off the trees, right? Yeah, that's called fall. 
All right. But right now, we are on the line Stay that up. separates the winter from the summer. Uh, well, winter from spring. From spring. I need you to stop talking, and you need to listen, okay? All right. So, tonight, just before midnight, it is going to turn from winter into spring. And so, tomorrow, it's going to be spring. Well, some people say it's spring today, but it actually doesn't change until almost midnight. But you know what? It's going to be 80 degrees here today. And we just don't know what's going to happen, do we? All right. And it's been raining a lot all winter, so I don't know what it's going to do in the spring when it usually rains. We will see. It can make people sick. Yeah, a lot of times it does. Um, all right. So look over here. Oh, I forgot to put our new day on here. So I had 15, 16, 17, 18. Noah. What comes after 18? 19. You're not Noah, but I'll take that. And I'm sure Noah knew it. Let me write that down. Hold it. I'm sure he doesn't know what he put there. Okay. So we're going to put that up. Now we have the 19 on there. All right. So let's count. Ready? One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five, five six, six, seven, seven eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. You know what that means? What does that mean? That means this is the 19th day of the week. It is the 19th of March. But it also means that, Nora, what do you think it means? Does it mean we have to jump 19 times? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so everybody, stand up. I'm stand not tired up. of jumping. Well, wait till we get to the end of the month. Ready? Here we go. One, One two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Whew. Next is going to be twenty. Yes, next will be twenty. But I'm glad we just did the nineteen today. Why? All right. So. It is the 19th, and this is when it turns to spring. Yay! Everybody say yay for spring. Yay! All right. But what day of the week is it? March. No, that's our month is March. So, Kinsley, do you know what day of the week it is? Let's sing our song, right, Raylan? Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week. Okay, so what do we do on Sunday? Hmm. Do we go to church? Yeah. Yes, we do. So what we're going to do, but what we're doing now is we're watching it on TV, which is really cool because you get, that means you get to go to church in your jammies, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And, and then on Monday is when we had P.E. And we did some extra running around stuff. Tuesday is going to be our science day. And that's going to start next week. Wednesday, what did we do yesterday? We did music. So I sent a link to a lot of different music that you could do. And today is Thursday. And on Thursday, we do art. And Miss... Nikki, the art teacher, has sent some things for you guys to do. And we're going to make a spring flower using some finger paint and a fork. What? Yeah, you can use the fork to make the flowers. And then you can use your finger paint to make the... the petals. Well, no, the stem and the leaves. So that will be really cool. And tomorrow, what's tomorrow? Hmm. Tomorrow is Thursday. Yeah. Sunday, Monday, Monday Tuesday. Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Friday, and normally at school, we only go from Monday to Thursday, but I'm going to make a video for tomorrow too, because you guys are stuck at home. You might want to do extra stuff, and we'll be doing the letter E tomorrow, but today we're going to do the letter D. D. All right, so we've done the days of the week. Hmm, we need to do our rules. And dinosaurs. So I did the rules over here. It's yeah. kind of hard to see because uh -huh. my wall is getting so full. And so big. All right, I'm going to put it up here. Okay, well, it's not, don't get big. All right, ready? So the red rule says to keep your body to keep yourself. yourself. So everybody, get your bodies, fold them up, fold them up real tight. How tight can you go? How little can you go? All right, 
The red rule says to keep your body to yourself. Your body to yourself. Yeah, your body to yourself. The red rule says to keep your body to yourself all day long. All right, everybody stand up. The golden rule says, says be quick to obey. obey. Quick to <laughs> obey. Quick <laughs> to obey. The golden rule says be... Wait, I'm doing it wrong. I'm doing the orange rule. And I mean, I'm saying golden, but it's the orange one. Oh my goodness. That's why you were doing... Okay, let's try that again. The orange rule well, says to be quick to obey. obey. Quick oh, to obey. obey. Quick to obey. obey. The orange oh, rule says so to be quick to obey, obey. all day long. Now the, now the golden rule. So sit down. Give me a big smile. Mm. Big, like biggest, long let me see your biggest smile ever. Long, the golden long, rule long, says be kind long, to long. others. Use your nice singing voice. Kind, kind to others. Long, kind to long, others. Long, the golden long, rule long, says be kind to long, others. Long, all day long. Now we're going to do the green rule. Everybody stand up. The green rule says to use your walking feet. Walking feet. Walking feet. The green rule says to use your walking feet. All day long. All right, sit down. And now the blue rule. So put your hand on your throat. The blue rule says to use your inside voice, inside voice, inside voice. The blue rule says to use your inside voice all day long. Nice. I'm doing the inside. I see. All right, make some big, stand up and make some big, big, big ears. Big ears. That way can you hear better. The purple rule says to listen well, listen well. Listen well. The purple rule says to listen well all day long. Good job. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Hey, hey, hey. Good job. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Hey, hey, hey. Sit down. I love that song, don't you? Yeah. Okay, let's do our weather. Our weather, let's sing that, ready? What's the weather, what's the weather, what's the weather like today? Is it rainy, is it sunny, is it windy out today? Well, let's look out. Um, I only see clouds. Yep. Yep, so it's, I'm going to say it's cloudy, but it's going to be warm today. I don't understand this weather. But I I'm, how, I'm glad it's not raining. It. I, I understand. Okay. All right. So let's see how you guys did on the things you did yesterday. The assignments. Alfred cut up the straws and made his name, and he colored the Christian flag. That was fantastic. You did a great job on the coloring. And Jackson made his name with a cereal. That was a good one. I saw you working on that. This is what James did. We started out with straws, but then we ran out of straws and did cereal. But, but one straw was hiding. Oh, is it? Yeah. And then we ate some of the cereal. Yeah. Um, and Levi and his Bye. brother Jackson made chocolate chip cookies. <gasps> Ooh. And then he took a bite of the cookie. Oh, so you could see that it was a C. That was great, huh? That's a good way to learn it. Okay, so... Let's see what's next. We have a new letter. D. Hmm. Yesterday was C, so today D. is D. 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 Here's the D. 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 Says D. Now that's a hard thing to make. I can make the D with my hand, like this. Here's a straight line, here's and here's the, the curve. All right, James, I'm gonna try something with you. Okay. Right. Lay down. Lay down. Let's take the Bible off. Okay, that's a good idea. Lay down right here. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna we're gonna make the little D, okay? Okay. So I'm gonna put the legs up right here. That's the stick. Now let me have your hands curve over like this. Okay. Does that look here? Bend your elbows a little bit. Make them round. Make it round. Okay. Does that look like the letter D? Do you think? No. We got the ball and the and the stick. No, the ball has to go off. Right no, here. this is the little D. The little D. That looks like it. I think that's pretty good. Okay. 
Everybody stand up. Stand up. Can you make the letter D with your body? How are you going to do that? I can make the letter D without the G. You know, if you have a brother or um, a sister, you can have one person stand like that. Come here, you. Come here. I want to watch. Come here. Okay. All right? And so you're going to be, uh, I'm going to be the stick. Put your feet, put your feet, here, put your feet on mine. Put your feet on mine. Okay. Okay. Now lean over. Here. Keep your feet. Now lean back. I got you. I got you. Look. I'm the stick part and you're the big belly of it, right? Is that a D? Yep. Okay. All right. So did you guys find a way to make a letter D? Wow. We are going to look at our Abeka stuff, and this is, who is this? Kathy Cow. This is, no, this is not Connie Cow. Um, this is Dexter Donkey. Dexter. Dexter Donkey. Why is his name is Dexter? Because it starts with D. And other things we have are the dog, the duck, the dentist, the doll, the daisy, and the dump truck. All right, let's sing our song. Dexter Donkey, Dexter Donkey, D says D. D, d, d. Dog and duck and dentist, all daisy yeah, dump da, truck, T cells, d, 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 d. All right, you want to use your best voices for that. And yeah, let me see, who else? I, if your name is Donald or Daniel, your name starts with D, doesn't it? Um, yes, so we have the big D and the little D. And let's see, something I wanted to show you. Oh, here it is. This is really cool. Do you know what this is? A rock. Well, it looks like a rock, but see those teeth right there? Oh, teeth. And it's got teeth over here. This is part of a dinosaur fossil. This is a, it was a duckbill dinosaur. Mm -hmm. And when it died, it's, uh, it was turned kind of into rock. As the ground and the water got into it, it took out some of the bone stuff and made rock. And so that's why we have this. Uh, this dinosaur fossil. That's pretty cool, isn't it? When we get off then we could actually, we found a whole dinosaur. Oh, that would be awesome to find a whole dinosaur. Or if we found all of the dinosaurs. Okay. And another thing we could do with D, you know what this is? We did this in our class, but it's called a density jar or a density bottle. Shake it. What I did is I put water and some food coloring in about halfway and then I put some oil like um, vegetable oil or whatever and you can see it turn I should have done the water right here uh, dark blue so that it would look like this ocean right mm -hmm. so I could turn it this way you, you want to shake it up for me okay what's gonna happen if you shake it up okay well right now it looks all orange hmm we'll have to check that back in a minute because the water is more dense. It's more close together than the oil. And so that's why the oil floats. We'll check back with that. You can already see it starting to separate again. All right, so let's do our phonics song. We haven't done that yet. Oh, we gotta move the rules. I need a bigger wall. You can move all my own. Ready? When we learn these sounds, you'll see Ready to read, then we will be a a apple b b b k k cat and doll e e egg and f fan g g goat and hand i i inchworm j j jam k k kite and lamb monkey noodle. Ah, ah, octopus and p -p poodle, qu quilt and rail, sun and t -t tail, a uh, uh, umbrella v -v -v vase. I'm nearly through. See my happy face. R uh, w -w wagon t -t -t box. Y -y Yarn. Say, do you see a fox? See him in the z -z -z zoo. It was fun, and now we're through. All right, so and we, oh wait, so that's the stuff for the letters. What's next? Oh, I know, our number. Look at our number up here. 
It is a two. two. So I, I want everybody to clap two times. Clap your arms two times. And let's think about what you have two of. You have two, two arms. Two arms. And two ears. Two ears. And two eyes. Two eyes. Hmm, and two, two legs. legs. And two feet. Yeah, remember I was talking about the midline, the line that comes down the middle of you? Well, the stuff on that middle line has one, but the other stuff is like two. So you have two arms, two legs, two ears, and it's like you can and fold two yourself. Feet. And two feet. That's right. So you can fold yourself over and you match up. Um, but two is going to be our number. So I want you to, the guys to think about the number two. Two, two, two. And I've got a song that's going to be, it's about two eyes. It says, I've got two eyes, one, two. They're both the same size, one, two. I've got two eyes, and they're both the same size. And then it goes on about your ears and your arms and your knees and your feet. So it's a really fun song. And the link is below in the show more, uh, below the uh, video. All right, and let's see what's next. And we're still going to be doing gold and a cross. We did the cross right here, didn't we, yesterday? Cross starts with C, and so did the Christian flag and color. All right. Um, and so let's talk about uh, the Bible. No, the, we're going to talk about the Bible. The Bible. That's right. So let's get out our Bible. If you need to get a drink, you can do that right now. And then, because we... We have a lot of time here. I'll have my water cup. With you can me. go get it. That's a good thing about doing Bible right now is because you can just go get your water and keep it with you, can't you? Or if you're drinking juice. Or Gatorade. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we, shh, we are in Genesis still. That's the beginning book of the Bible. Because this is a... And Genesis means beginnings. So it's telling us the beginnings of a lot of things. And yesterday, we talked about how Adam and Eve disobeyed God. Mm. Mm -hmm. And bad things happened about that. They got took away from the garden. Because yes, I know. But did you know God told them something good that day? Mm -hmm. He told the woman that one day she would have a child. And uh, or there would be somebody that comes out of her that would, mm -hmm. uh, would crush Satan. Mm. It's Jesus. It is. We know it's Jesus. But she didn't know that. So when she had a baby, the, she was like, oh, this is going to be the one. This is going to be the one. And his name was Cain. And then she had another ba uh, baby boy, and she named him Abel. Well, these two boys um, grew up, and Cain, would he was a farmer. He would grow some of the most delicious vegetables. He was and he, a good farmer. And he had to do a lot of work because, remember, the ground had been cursed because of the, their disobedience. So, first we had creation, and then it's corruption. And that's where things start to fall apart a little bit, or evil comes in. And evil came in. Let's see how it goes on. Then, Abel, he's the shepherd. He took care of the sheep. The shepherd is the good guy. Anyway, they one day, they brought a gift to God. And so, Abel looked over his flock, and he saw the biggest, best sheep ever. And it was his best one. And he picked it up, and he carried it, and he gave it to God. And God was very pleased with that because he didn't just give him the, the smallest one. He gave him the best. And so God said, Abel, you've done good. And well, then Cain, he said, I need to bring something too. And he looked around and he saw these vegetables. Uh, it was a basket. He said, oh, this will do. And he just picked them up. He didn't care if they were the best or not. But he had a basket of vegetables. And he took them over there and he gave them to God. And God was not pleased with that. Because he didn't care what he was giving God. He wasn't giving him his best. And so <clears throat> Cain got mad. And he killed his <clears throat> brother. You need to be quiet. Um, so he got mad <clears throat> and God says, what's the matter? If you do your best, then you'll be accepted. But if you're just going to do your worst job, it's not going to be accepted. Well, <clears throat> he was still mad. And then one day he said, Abel, come over here. I'm going to show you this new plant I found. It's really good. So he took him out in, into the field 
And then he started hitting his brother. And he hit him and hit him and killed his brother. That was evil. That was sin. And it was terrible. And then God said, Cain, where's your brother? Now, God knew what had happened. He knew it before it even happened. But he wanted Cain to know that he knew. And he wanted Cain to confess, which is say what he's done wrong. And Cain said, what? Am I supposed to keep up with my brother? Am I his keeper? And God said, his blood is calling me from the ground. And so God put a curse on Cain that he had to go away. He couldn't live in that area anymore. And it was so bad. And then his descendants had sinned and they kept um, killing each other. And they started having two wives instead of one wife at the same time. That was crazy. And it was just so bad. It was got worse and worse. And think about Adam and Eve. They thought these boys were going to be the one to crush uh, Satan's head. Well, then uh, Eve had another baby boy, and his name was Seth. And she goes, maybe this is the one. But that wasn't the one. It, God had promised him a Savior would come, but he didn't say when. So all through the Old Testament of the Bible, which is this part, all through this part, God keeps saying, I'm going to send you a Savior. And we know who it is. It's Jesus. Mm -hmm. And Jesus is not where he saved. All right. Now, when we pray, I want you to remember some of the some things. There are two moms that I know of who are sick. And they haven't tested. They didn't have the flu. They know they don't have the flu, but they're still sick. So they're waiting on a test kit. They have to order the test kit and then wait a week before it gets here. So... They're pretty sick right now, so they have to be in their room by themselves and can't come out and give their little uh, children hugs. So that's really sad. And then we have, I know a couple of, of ladies who are going to have have a baby really soon. And it's like all the hospital beds are full. And it's like, what am I going to do? And so we need to pray that those babies will be just fine and the mamas will be just fine. So when you're saying your prayers, I want you to say that, okay? All right, and remember, all right, let's go ahead and say a prayer. Let's go. Hands in the air, grab a star under your chin, close your eyes, and let's begin. Dear Lord, thank you for all that you've given us today. Thank you for the um, no rain, and thank you for keeping us safe and giving us the internet that we can watch these things and giving us toilet paper. Um, and giving us toilet. And giving us toilets, too. Thank you for everything you've given us. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Now, we're going to look at what we're going to do for tomorrow. Have I done everything? I think I have. No. What? Oh, yeah. Now, oh, um, here are the, si the assignments. Just wait. Just wait. So, you are going to continue... Drawing your lines. Remember, tape it to the refrigerator. Start at the green and go down to the red. And if you are not three years, you have to be two years and ten months to do this. So if you're like Maddie and Harper, they don't need to be doing this. They need to be using big crayon, big chunky crayons. But if you're older than that, if you're about three, then you can do this. And make sure you have short little crayons. See, I cut it in half. And I got a crayon um, sharpener from Hobby Lobby. And I sharpened the crayon. So you're going to start at the green and go down to the red and stop. And you want to go straight down. We want to make those lines as straight as possible. And you want to make sure you're holding your crayon right. All right. And I got something new for you. This is spot the difference. So you're going to put this up on your refrigerator. And then you're going to say, hmm, these things are different. Do you see anything that's different right now? Yes. See, is that different from this? Uh-huh. So you're going to circle it. You're and going to... And, they, and when I smiley face on it, yep. it's happening. So you're going to go through this, and you're going to find five, uh, three things that are different. Three things that are different, okay? And learning to see the differences is very important. All right. And then I also yeah. had one of these on your, on your links. And this is 
a number chart, isn't it? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So what you're going to do is you're going to find something. Put the number one. I'm gonna put one dinosaur up there. What do you think I'm gonna put on number two? Two dinosaurs. Two dinosaurs. Yep. If I had two dinosaurs, or maybe I put two crayons, or two ducks. Some of you guys have a lot of those little ducks around. Um, what about two doggies? No. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not real doggies. They wouldn't fit on here. Yeah. But you're gonna find things, and you're gonna put the right number all the way up to ten. All right. And then the next thing. Oh, this is fun. Um, did you see what was behind me? Maybe I'm gonna move. What is this? Put the tail on the donkey. It is a donkey. And a donkey. I have a, a link where you can print out one and you're gonna put some tape on, on this and you're gonna put a blindfold on and you're gonna, maybe your mom will spin you around and you're gonna spin around and you'll try to hit the donkey. And if you put it right there, oh, that's a tree. That's not the right place. You want to get the donkey right here. And donkey starts with what letter? D. D. That is right. And Play-Doh. Mm. Look what we have for the Play-Doh today. Mm. I'm going to take out the Play-Doh. And I'm going to make dinosaur prints. Can you see that? I got dinosaur prints. Or I can make the whole dinosaur print out here. Kind of like an um, imp impression of a dinosaur so it would be in there <laughs> that's cool and you can do it with ducks or anything d what do you think of the ducks dinosaurs donkeys hmm don't do it with donuts you should eat the donuts no All right. donuts donuts no you want to eat the donuts don't put the donuts in the play-doh all right and is that all let me check my list i had a list oh there are some songs to sing you know what one of our favorites is? What? We are the dinosaur. So My I see. Yeah, that's one of our favorites. My favorite is Twinkle Twinkle. So uh, I need, uh, yeah, there's a link down there and you can click on it and you'll have Lori Bertner playing We Are the Dinosaurs Marching, Marching. And let's see, count the number back. Um, I think that's, I've already done that. Okay, I think that's about it. So we're going to tell you, if you can have your parents, um, they can subscribe to this channel so that you, they'll know as soon as I put up a new video that you can watch it. And, oh, I meant to tell you something yesterday. You know how when we're at school and we clean up and we put all the cars into one bin and put it away, and then we'll put all the Legos and put it away. And that way we have more room to play, don't we? Well, you need to do that at home, too. You may need to make sure all your things are picked up. When, when you get one thing out at school, we get it out, and then we put it away before we play with something else. And you need to do that, too, so that your mom is not stepping on Legos or little bitty toys, and your dad's not tripping over your trucks, okay? We need to make sure we're putting away our toys. And if you clean up your room, you know what happens? What? You have a bigger play space. So if you pick up the dirty clothes and you put the clean ones in your drawer, you'll have more space to play. Isn't that fantastic? Yeah. All right. So we want to, maybe you can do that today. It's clean up your room and pick up your toys. All right. So that's it for today. Um, you got plenty of fun things to do. So go and have fun.